Well, I'm the same way. You know, I feel just like you do. Uh, I, I think that's why I think uh, yeah, it's one of those things that uh, it's the right mix. You and I seem to uh, automatically find that uh, we have such similar paths and, and uh, our thinking process is so similar that it, it's not, there's not a conflict because neither one of us have egos. And uh, I, I think that that's the thing that opens the doors for both of us. And it's, uh, it's a pleasure for me to run across somebody. Uh, with, for, for me, you're young. Uh, you're, you're young or younger than my older sons even. Uh, but at the same time, you have a lot of wisdom. You have a lot of experience that the majority of people don't possess. And with that, uh, you, you've grown very wise for a person of your age. And uh, for me to run across somebody like that in these days is, uh, is very rare. Uh, I have a lot of good, dedicated students, uh, the, the, the best uh, that I've you know, found in all the years I've been around law enforcement. Uh, but even they don't have the background and experience that you have. Uh, they've, they've lived a you know, pretty narrow life. Uh, and, but in the field where I'm trying to prepare them to do the best they can there, uh, they are the best. Because I've traveled to other foreign countries and matched with, uh, I, I, when I was in China, I, I was privileged to be asked to go to different places and all the universities and exchange training with the Wushu clubs over there. Then I went to the major police academies over there and the military police and I exchanged my type of things with them. And when they tell me that this is the best they've seen uh, in this field or the one guy who was the all China fighting champ. I met two of them, the past one and the present one. And they said, the older gentleman, uh, he told me, he sat next to me and he said to an interpreter, you remind me of my instructor, he tells me. And I thought, oh, wow. <laughs> and uh, uh, I, I, I was flattered that the, they accepted me and they invited me back for two, three years to train. I said, well, I can't come back for two, three years. But I was really flattered to see that they looked at what I did and they felt that what I was doing in, in the law enforcement field was better than anything they've seen. And I thought, wow, here I come to China, the land of a billion plus people, with all their background and all the arts uh, that they would even you know, look at mine and consider it uh, worthy. And I thought, so I felt good. And I went to the Tokyo Police Academy and did the same thing there. And the one instructor said, you know, your police method is better than ours. And I've always looked up to them as being better than ours over here and then probably in general they are but uh you know and then i've been to the you know middle east i've been uh, in so many places to just to see what do these people do then of course in our government i've spent time with all the high levels of our government and, and military and and i see what they do and i tell them I say, oh my god i'm not that far off i said i'm looking up at these people and what i have is uh is better than what they're doing so I feel pretty good and competent and confident in myself, but at the same time, I'm still always willing to uh, add to it, learn something new, uh, because that's what keeps me going. The moment I stop wanting to learn, uh, that's the end. People are going to pass you by. That's that's just life. And to me, I, I, I just still want to learn. <laughs> that's exactly, in fact, that's in my lesson plan, that very thought. I, I That's part of the lesson plan. I tell them, one of the things of being an instructor is be honest with your students. If they ask you a question, you don't have a proper answer, don't bluff and make one up. Tell them, you don't know, but I will try to find you an answer. You'll get more respect that way. I say, you don't know who's sitting in that class. They can make you for a phony. Your credibility is gone as an instructor. I said, don't ever do that. So uh, and one other point, you know, it's just what we're talking on. I tell my students, look. If you get a chance to go to anybody else's class and you have the time to do it, go. You don't have to like it. You don't have to do it. Or if you like theirs better than mine, you go to them. But that helps you see what other people are doing so you can compare. The more you learn, the more material you have to make comparison to make a decision on your own. But those that don't do anything else and go one-sided, they don't know if that's all there is to it or if that's all there is. You know, I said, go out and find out for yourself like I did. Then I made my choice. <laughs> All right. That sounds familiar. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of blurred there. Yeah. Oh, you know that's what the guys used to kid me about years ago, calling me Yoda. <laughs> in fact, the guy up in Alaska, he he does a chain uh, chainsaw carving on wood, and he carved me a Yoda out of a telephone pole, and I've got it in my my <laughs> in my hallway. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, uh, well, I, I can agree with uh, uh, your premise and, and philosophy of doing because that's, that's exactly the way I feel and that's the way I teach. <clears throat> I, I tell instructors, look, you're not out there to brag about how good you are. You're there because you are an instructor already. They know who you are. They're there to learn from you. So you don't have to sit there and impress them. And that's what typical police instructors... Uh, excuse me. Typical police instructors have this kind of an ego, and that's the way they teach, just like military. Uh, and uh, I said, uh, what you're doing is you're, you're telling him, look, you're great, and you can do it, but they're not as great, so they can't do it then. Y your job is to show them they can do it, and it, they don't have to be your caliber as far as being in shape or being big and big and strong. And And when you teach... You have to teach them to build confidence that they can do it. And your job is to teach that they can do it. And we don't seem to do that in most instructional fields. I, I've watched and listened to the egos and uh, they, they're so busy trying to impress the students and they belittle them or show them what they could do to them. I say, hey, you don't have to do that. They know you're there. They know you're the instructor. And you're not in competition with your students. You're there to impart the knowledge. And I always tell my students, look, your job is to make your student as good as you are. That's your job. Not keep them less than you are and you're better than they are. If you can make them as good as you are, and if they get better, then that's what Toy said to me. One thing that I always remembered, he says, I will teach you everything I know. And when you know more than me, I'll come to you. And that always kind of stuck with me. That was, a, that was one thing of all the things I've heard him say and all the things I spent time with him. That stuck with me, and I said, now, that is a totally different type of attitude of an instructor that I have ever seen, you know, from the past or since then, actually. So, yeah, I'm in agreement with you. Uh, I haven't heard you say anything that I didn't agree with. Uh, so we're on, a, we're on the same plane. That's, that's obvious. I, I knew that right away. <laughs> what haven't you done? <laughs> <laughs> That's you know how to use a rope and rope a steer, and you know how to use a bull whip. <laughs> Uh-huh. Right. Right. That's, that's nice. Yeah, any any time I can share anything that benefits someone else uh that that's what my whole life seems to have been about and uh when i find somebody that, uh, with your background your caliber that uh, feels that i have something of worth to, uh, to pass on uh why well, that that uh, really makes uh, makes my day so to speak <clears throat> Me just a second. I've got a phone call here. Go get into Toby speaking. Help you. Okay. Uh, okay. <clears throat>
No, 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 that's, that's all right. It, it, it was nothing I needed. <laughs> yeah, yes. Well, uh, it's, it's, it's really my pleasure to have someone that uh, understands, truly understands, and has the same kind of attitude about life as you have, because it's not not very often that you can find people like that. And uh, you're, you're a rare person among rare persons, uh, believe me. And I, I don't say that just to be saying things. In fact, my wife always tells me, you know, I have all these things that I want to say good about a lot of my instructors, but you never tell them. I know I, <laughs> I, I'll learn uh, to do that more often. And as I get older, uh, I, I do that more. I, I let my students know, my senior instructors know, even my, even my own kids. Uh, I, I've, I've learned now uh, to put praise where it belongs. And uh, I said, you know, I'm not going to be around, you know, that many more years. Who knows what, you know, time will be. But I want you to know how I feel. And uh, instead of keeping it myself, it's just like my teaching. I said, I've got jillions of things in my mind that I even forget about until somebody mentions it. Uh, so I want to pass on as much as I can before I go. It doesn't do any good for me to take it with me to my grave. So I've learned a lot from a lot of good people all my life and a lot of experiences in real life. So I want to pass on as much as I can. So as long as you're willing to listen and learn, uh, it's all there for the taking. So that's, that's the way I go about my business and my life. So. <laughs> I think that's why we see our guy and, and on all these things. I listen to you talk, and it's like you say, it's almost like listening to myself talk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Yeah, that's really funny. Is it? I'm the same way. <laughs> Doesn't take me long to sit and watch something and understand this concept and what it should or shouldn't be done. <laughs> that's that's interesting. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm sure that I I could learn a lot from that. I'd be I look forward to that. Okay, all right. All right. Okay, all right, thank you. You too, bye-bye. <laughs>